The first goal of surgical treatment is to stop the fluids from passing through the tear by plugging it. The pumping done by the pigment epithelium allows the retina to be reattached. To do this, the surgeon first needs to find all the tears or holes, no matter how small, in order to induce an inflammatory reaction on the edges of the holes or tears by cryopexy or laser. This reaction will act as a glue when the tear will be pushed against the pigment epithelium. This can be done in several ways. The doctor can reshape the sclera, pushing it against the tear by doing a scleral buckle. Using an explant suture to the sclera. He can do an internal tamponing by pushing the retina against the pigment epithelium and then injecting a bubble of gas into the eye. This bubble will then be absorbed naturally. For complicated cases, a silicone bubble is sometimes used instead, though it must later be removed. Lastly, he could remove the vitreous tractions that caused the detachment in the first place, thus giving the retina back its flexibility. This is called a vitrectomy, or removal of the vitreous.